Hi, let's learn how to create this beautiful hanging options animation in PowerPoint. On a click, I bring in the first option like this, then the second option, the third option, and the fourth option. You can use this as an agenda slide to talk about four points in your agenda, or you can use it as a summary slide to recount the four main points you covered in your presentation, or just to make your list slide more interesting. Let us learn how to create this beautiful animation from scratch. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you create beautiful and engaging presentations in minutes. The first step is to create the shape that will provide the hanging option. For that, let me go to Auto Shapes Gallery. From basic shapes, let us pick up this tool called as half frame, hold the shift button down and draw the frame. Now I'm going to use this yellow handle to reduce the frame size like so, and make sure that the width of these two elements are more or less the same. Then right click, go to size and position, and then use rotation option to have it rotated by 45 degrees. And now we have the first element ready. Then let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery once again. From basic shapes, let us pick up this diamond tool and then hold the shift button down and draw a diamond shape like so and place it right under the previous one. Now the next step is to place it somewhere over here and then have it hang from a certain point. So I need to create the bar. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery pick up this rectangle tool and draw a bar that will help us to hang these elements. Then let us give this a chrome treatment. Right click, go to format shape, go to gradient fill and choose one of the preset gradients. You can choose any of these. I have just chosen the default one. Let us go to the first stop here and then use black color and then go to the last stop and use the same black color. Now the intermediate ones need to be adjusted with different hues of white and black. So let us go to this stop here, which is the second stop and make it white color and then go to the next stop here and make it slightly lighter gray like this. And then you can always move these elements to make it look the way that you want. Can you see here by making these adjustments, I've given this a chrome treatment. Let us go to shape outline and say no outline. Then we need a way to connect this to this. So how do we do that? Let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the oval tool, hold the shift button down and draw a small circle like this. Then go to shape fill, give it white color, go to shape outline, no outline. Then go to shape effects, go to shadow and choose one of the inner shadows. I'm going to choose this option called as inside top right. And then let me place this over here. Now we have got our hole available for us to hang this onto the bar. Then let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the line tool and draw a straight line like so. This is going to be the chain that hangs this to this. Now we need to give this black color and then let us increase the weight to somewhere around six points. Then change the line type to dash type. You can right click, go to format shape and go to the line option here. Then choose the option for dash type and choose this one called as round dot. Now you can see even though it is called round dot, it is in squarish shape. This is not the shape in which the chains usually appear. So we need to change the cap type from flat to round and instantly we have got it just the way we want it. Now let us place this somewhere over here and then let us have this reduced in size. So that is just about right. Then we need some element that attaches this to this. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery once again, pick up the rectangle tool and draw something of this size and then place it over here. And just so it slides into the bar, we need to have it slightly wider. So we need to have the width increased and you can place it like so. Then let us have the same gradient treatment. So let us select this bar here, go to home tab, go to format painter, click here and you have the same gradient applied to this as well. Now that looks nice. Just to differentiate this, let us have this with a slight outline like this. Now we have got this element available quite nicely. Now we need to differentiate this 
from this so let us select this and then make it maybe really dark like so and then select this and make a slightly lighter hue or you can even choose something like this and then let us have no outline for these elements by going to shape outline and say no outline let us write some text here go to auto shapes gallery and say you can replace this sample text and increase the font size to 20 so it is possible for everyone to read this then let us fold this out like so and then let us have this centrally aligned like this you can even add some more text like say with yours or whatever that you want to add so this is sufficient text for us to write our agenda point now that we have got everything in place let us select all these elements press ctrl g to group now it is time for us to add animation so let us go to animations let it fly in from left so let us go to effect options and say from left this is way too fast let us increase the duration to 1.25 seconds and along with that it needs to teeter so let us select this and then add animation and say teeter and this teetering happens for one second now when i go to animation pane you can see that this happens on click first we need to change that to with previous and then add a little bit of delay in this case i'm going to add a delay of 0.5 seconds so this teeters while it moves and also it keeps teetering a little bit even after it finishes entering the position now if you want to add a bit of drama to the fly in animation you can always add a bit of bounce so let us go to the animation event go to effect options and say bounce end is somewhere to the center and we say okay now that looks quite nice now when i go to slideshow let us see how the whole animation works on a click we have this element enter it keeps teetering along the way and then even after it reaches its position it keeps teetering let me do that again on a click you can see that this is how the first point enters the scene now once we have one prototype ready it is only a matter of replicating it to have as many points in your agenda as you like so i just need to select this press ctrl d to create a duplicate and place it somewhere along this place and then hit ctrl d again and again so i am going to reposition all of these so they all come inside and maybe i can even move this whole bar a little to the up so it looks a little more to the inside now that looks perfect i can always change the color of these elements so it gives a very different colorful look so let us go to this orange color and for this the corresponding dark color is chosen and for this let me cho choose a green color and then a corresponding dark hue of that and then this one we are going to have maybe this light blue color and then let us go here and have it in the dark blue color finally when I go to slideshow, the result is this. This is the first one. And once I finish, I talk about the second one. And then I talk about the third one. And then the fourth one. So that is how we introduce four points in our agenda slide. Now, let me show you some creative variations of the same idea taken from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. Here, instead of the Chrome bar, we have got clothes line. On a click, we have a simple idea of some picture being hung with clothes pin and we have the explanation for this so you don't necessarily need to have text element written here you can have picture instead can you see here it's such a simple idea and it looks quite nice let us take another example here we talk about four key findings this is mainly used for a medical presentation or even an educational presentation here we talk about the first finding then we talk about the second one the third one and the fourth one Another example is this one. Here, instead of hanging the text element, we have hung four lights here. And the way we use this is, on a click, we shed the light onto the first point, then on the second point, then on the third point, and then on the fourth point. The final example is this. Here, we are not hanging anything. It is just a variation of four points explained in a different way. We have a hand that comes and chooses the first point, and it shows the title. And then we have the explanation here again once you finish we have the second point shown the third point shown and then the fourth point shown so once you apply a bit of creativity you can do magic in powerpoint 
If you don't have the time to create these kind of elaborate presentation slides, then you can always go in for our ready-made templates options from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. The link is in the description box below the video. In the meantime, do you want to learn some simple and creative PowerPoint ideas you can use in your next presentation? Then click on the link here to join our 5-day free email course called 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas. These are simple, quick and useful PowerPoint ideas I have not shared elsewhere. So go ahead, click on the link, join the course and I will see you inside.